Okay, welcome back. So we will be painting this horse in this video and what I do is I, with watercolors, is I start out by giving it a nice coat of whatever the base, uh, basic color I want it to be. So in this case it's a black, black brown mix. So that's what I'm doing right now, is uh, just going with a watery coat to get a base coat down. And then we're going along the edges and then filling in near the middle. <laughs> and what this does is it gives me a way to establish a basic color, an undercoat if you will for the painting. It lets me get a color down is basically basically what I'm doing. So now I'm adding a second coat, adding in, starting to add in some shadows and just uh, light shadows to block off the areas where I want it to be darker. And now one of my tricks is using a dry paper towel is I go back and dab on, dab off the paint in various areas like the back side of the horse and the neck and the head, trying to remove a little bit of the watercolor paint in order to have some highlight areas and have some lighter uh, reflections. And sometimes I do wet the paper towel if I want to remove a lot of paint. That's one way you can do it. If you like my art, please check out my website on Etsy, Andy's Artitude. You can see the link down below in the description and check out the pillows. I have my art printed on my on these pillows and if you do buy one it goes into supporting my art and helping me make more videos like this one. So please check it out and enjoy. Okay so by now I've come back various sides of the horse or the edges and added a dark coat of darker paint in order to get some of those darker areas to give it a shape and you can see in the middle areas where I removed more paint to get those highlights and again right now I'm adding in darker colors, darker brownish black to get those really dark areas the shadows and one thing I'm doing is I'm really thinking about where the sun is coming from where the light is and so how does that interact with the horse I'm looking at various videos and pictures of how light reflects off of a horse's coat in order to help me better paint this painting and now what I'm doing is I'm adding a leather coat of dark paint 
and you'll see that I'll need a dark edge, a very uh, heavy edge. And what I'm going to do in a minute is clean my brush off, and then I'll let, let the paint dry. And then I will go back and soften that edge up and blend it in into the um, paint. And that's one thing about watercolors you can do is you can leave them to dry for a, an hour, half an hour, or whatever, and then come back and they're still you're still able to work with them. So right now you can see what I've done is I've blended in giving it more of a shape and using a clean brush just with water on it not too much water but some water and you see sometimes I clean it off by hand or with a paper towel Now that these first coats have had a bit of time to dry, I'm going back and adding the final coat of paint. You see I did that, and now I'm going back with some more paint to add a tail, and I'm adding using a somewhat dry brush for the tail. But uh, see that I've darkened the horse up, made it a bit more brown, because I want this horse to be a very dark brown. and. Uh, I've just, I've added some shadow, making it very three-dimensional. And going back to the tail, I use a dry brush in order to make the hairs kind of wispy and free flowing. Now what I'm doing is adding the shadow on the ground, using some dark blue, kind of a navy blue or Perhaps I think it's a, a blue gray. Just adding that shadow where I think it should be. Kind of guessing, nothing too complicated. And one thing when you're working painting free like this is you want to think how just how the shapes interact. Think of your own shadow you've seen and observed and be observant. That's one important thing when painting and drawing. Observe around you, your shadow, or your drawing with shadow. Think about what you've seen in nature and use that. Have a visual library. Now one of my tricks that my mentor taught me is using a sharp blade, okay, it can be an exacto knife or whatever, to, uh, to add highlights hair or whatever you want to do but you can see right now I'm scraping off the paint to add highlights and reflections to the hair to the tail and then I'll go back and do it to the eyes to the snout to the mouth and that adds a lot of character because with watercolor it's very hard to add light back to a dark area. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and we'll see you next week to complete this painting. Enjoy.